Hi everyone, how are you? Welcome to another video for MRCS exam and this is the question and answer session. It will provide uh, you a lot of information regarding MRCS exam. So here the question. First of all, read the question very carefully. An elderly man falls and lands on his hip on examination. His hip is danger to palpation and x-ray are taken. They are concerned that the, that he may have an intertrochanteric fracture. What is the normal angle between the femoral neck and the femoral shaft? So here it is one of the long question, but they want to know what is the angle between the femoral neck and femoral shaft. So this one line is enough for answering the question so we have to find out the angle that lies between the femoral neck and the femoral shaft here the options the options are 90 degree 105 degree 80 degree 130 degree and 180 degree so let's see a picture here we can see this is a humerus and in case of humerus we can see this is the head neck here we can see that this is the greater trochanter, lesser trochanter, and shaft of the femur. And we can see here this is the neck and this is the shaft. And here the angle, this angle, they want to know the angle between the neck and the shaft of the fe femur. So here the angle. It is 130 degree in case of male and in case of female it is 110 to 120 degree and we can see the another angle that lies between the femoral neck and the greater trochanter this is the 85 degree it is usually not required our most important here this is the 130 degree and this angle lies between the neck and femoral shafts so here our final answer is this is the 130 degree and the normal angle of the femoral neck and the femoral shaft it is 130 degree thank you all